Hi students, today we are going to learn about analog multiplier. What is analog multiplier? So that analog multiplier, the output voltage or current is directly proportional to the product of two or more independent input voltages or current. That is output is directly proportional to the product of the input. So this analog multiplier is used in various applications that is radar application then communication next one industrial control where a real time response is required. So here this is the symbol of analog multiplier. So here V1 and V2 are the independent input voltages. Okay, V1 and V2 are the independent input voltages that is given to the X and Y input terminals. So in this symbol X and Y are the input terminals. Here this B plus and B minus are the supply, voltage supply. That is we are giving plus 15 volt to minus 15 volt. Then this is the ground terminal. This is the output terminal. Then what is the output for analog multiplier? The output is directly proportional to V1 and V2. Product of V1 and V2. So here if you are removing this um, proportional. That is we are giving your constant value. That is proportionality constant K. So V0 is equal to K into V1 into V2. So this K value is 1 divided by V reference. That V reference voltage is 10. If you are taking 10 means that is K is equal to 1 by 10. Then what is the output voltage? Output voltage V0 is equal to 0.1. 1 by 10 means that value is 0.1 into V1 into V2. So this is the output voltage of analog multiplier. Then again once again what is analog multiplier? That is output voltage directly proportional to product of two input voltage so our output current is directly proportional to product of two input current okay next we discuss about various modes of operation so various modes of operation that is depends upon the polarity of the input signal so what is the polarity that is if we are giving minus input uh, first input is negative or second input positive or first input positive second input negative like that so depending upon the polarity the multiplier are classified into three types that is one quadrant multiplier two quadrant multiplier then four quadrant multiplier so first we will see the one quadrant multiplier so one quadrant multiplier means both inputs are positive that means given input v1 and v2 are positive so positive means so here this is the we have here this is v1 positive voltage this is v2 here this is minus v2 this is the negative section so both the inputs are positive means that is one quadrant so the, that is in the positive side only okay so that positive side we are taking that is one quadrant multiplier then second one is two quadrant multiplier so what is two quadrant multiplier here one input is held positive that means if v1 is positive and other input is allowed to swing in both positive and negative okay first input is positive second input is allowing to both positive and negative direction that means here this is the positive side first input that is first input we are taking this first quadrant so that is one so that is held in positive so that is in placed in the positive side only so second input that is allowed to swing both positive and negative so this is the second input that is swing positive and negative so this is two quadrant multiplier the next one is four quadrant multiplier here both inputs are allowed to swing in both positive and negative direction that means v1 and v2 both inputs are allowed to swing both positive and negative that means we will get the graph like this okay this is four quadrant multiplier so here this Multiplier modes of multi, uh, modes of operations is depends upon the polarity of the input signal. So next we discuss about the performance parameters of 
multiplier. So first performance parameter is accuracy. We all know what is accuracy. Here the accuracy means that is the maximum deviation of actual output level from the ideal output. Okay, maximum deviation of actual output level from the ideal output. So this is also called as total error. So next one is linearity. So what is linearity means it is the maximum output deviation of best fit straight line at the output. Okay that is called linearity. The next one bandwidth. So bandwidth means that is the output is 3 dB below its low frequency. That is the range up to frequency where the output is 3 dB below its low frequency. So this is called small signal bandwidth. So next one is 1 percentage absolute error bandwidth. That is it represents the frequency where the output magnitude starts to deviate from its low frequency value by 1 percent. Okay, maximum frequency that is output magnitude starts to deviate from its low frequency value by 1% that is called 1% absolute error bandwidth. Next one is feed through voltage. So feed through voltage means that is the peak to peak output voltage. Okay, that is peak to peak voltage at the output where one of the input voltage is grounded that means any one of the input v1 or v2 any one of the input is grounded at the output voltage what is the output voltage peak to peak voltage that peak to peak voltage is feed through voltage next one zero trim that is it is the ability of multiplier to set feed through voltage at the output to zero okay set the feed through voltage at the output to zero that is called zero trim next one scale factor so this is scale factor means that is the constant pro proportional constant k what is k uh, we know what is v naught is equal to k into v1 by v1 into v2 from this we are calculating k means the our scale factor k is equal to v naught divided by v1 into v2 so this is the proportionality constant k factor means this is the proportionality constant where the output voltage that is the ratio of output voltage and the product of two input voltages so next one quadrant so this is the indicates the restriction on the polarity of the two input voltage we know what is quadrant we already discussed about various modes of operations that is depends upon the polarity of the input signals so next we see the various techniques which are used for the multipliers so first one is logarithmic multiplier then pulse width or height modulation multiplier then variable transconductance technique multiplication using gilbert cell next simple multiplier using an emitter coupled transistor pair i hope all of you can understand the analog multiplier thank you